Hi guys. Uh, I'm in it and it's time for another vlog. I just finished filming the last clip of my previous vlog, but you don't don't need to know that. Um, I have a theme vlog going on now. Um, the idea came to me after seeing Lala from Books and Lala, or Kayla from Books and Lala, doing this. Uh, she was going through all of the years since she was born and found the years that she had didn't have a five stars from and went and read books from that year to find uh, until she found a five star um, and I want to do something similar I don't have that many years that I haven't gotten any five stars um, because I I only have two years since I was born in 1986 um, that doesn't have a book released that wasn't a five stars and I can sort of Obviously, a lot of that is due to Terry Pratchett, who had a lot of books published in the 80s as well and 90s, uh, and they obviously takes up a lot of five stars. Then there was uh, was also some co some Nora Roberts books and stuff. Um, so yeah, no, no, not many years, but there are two. Yes, plus this year, actually 2024, I haven't found a five star yet, but I haven't read very many books from this year. Um, but the first one that wasn't didn't have any was 1988. If these books are going to make me get to five stars, but I have four books here and I'll read them for this vlog. And hopefully one of them will get a five star. They were all books that I had on my TBR already, so I thought I could buy them or get them or some other way. The first one and the shortest one is Hadrianna hey in All My Dreams by René Des De Pestre. I don't know what it is, but it's very, very short. I hauled it recently. I think it's slightly horror. Uh, you don't, it says on the back, you do not do not need to believe in zombies or voodoo to be carried away with this story. A metaphor for all forms of dispossession. René de, de Pestra has gone beyond nostalgia to write sumptuous love, a sumptuous love story. So this is by an Haitian author, which I think is cool. I, have never, I don't think I've ever read any books by an author from Haiti. So I'm really looking forward to that. It is... I think just about 100 pages, hold on, no, just under 200, I think, nope, wrong again, it is 200 and, it's 212 pages long, so it's not very long, we'll see what happens with that one, um, I don't think it's going to be a 5 star, but we'll see, it could happen. Another book that's also horror. I had on my TBR was The Graveyard Apartment by Mariko Koike. This is also from 1988 and this is 324 pages, I think. Yeah, 324 pages is this one. <clears throat> Another book from this, I don't know about this one. It, it could be, it was recommended a long time ago. I think it's Japanese horror and Japanese horror can be really spooky if I think about the movies and stuff they did so there's good chance that it could happen with books as well. The Last Honest Woman by Nora Roberts. Nora Roberts is one of my favorite authors of all time. I'm not sure about whether this will be five stars um, but I think I'm gonna enjoy it nonetheless. It is the first book in the O'Hurley series so um, yeah, and usually her serious books hasn't been my favorite. It's more been her standalones or her J.D. Robb books. J.D. Robb is obviously, the J.D. Robb books are from a series, but that's way later in her career. And um, yeah, the last and final book on my TBR for this vlog is The Lives of Christopher Chant, which is the sequel to Chant Life, which I read in the first one. So I'm really looking forward to reading on in the series. I was a little bit confused when I looked into the inside flap of Charmed Life. This one. Uh, it says that there are other books before this one, but with a, you know, when I go to Goodreads it says this is the second book in the Christopher Chant series, or Christomancy series, sorry. Um, so I'm definitely going to be reading this one too. Um, 
so I don't know out of these if there's going to be five stars, um, but there might be, and I'm definitely looking forward to see if I can find one. If I don't find one in this vlog, I'm not going to continue until I find a five star. I might revisit the year later, and you can give me some recommendations of books that you've read that you enjoyed that was published in 1988. Then I can look at those and maybe add some if I don't find a five stars myself, this one. Um, but yeah, this is my first update. I will talk to you when I have something to say. Um, if you're wondering about my voice, I am currently having a cold and I might have... Uh, what's it called? Um, I've had it before. I might have sinusitis. I'm not sure. My cheek hurts here. That's why I think I have it. Um, anyway, this is my first update. I need to finish dinner and I will get to you later when I have something to say. Hello friends. It is now Tuesday and I wanted to check in with an update. I've started on Hadriana and All My Dreams. I started it today. Uh, took it with me to the doctor's office and read for, I think, 10 minutes and then I read for 55 minutes with a reading sprint kind of thing um, and I'm already like 108 pages in so it reads super duper fast uh, not sure I understand what's going on I know we are following um, a story about a girl a woman who dies on her wedding day and it might be a ghost story voodoo stuff happening in this I don't know if you're supposed to know a lot about the folklore here, but it is a little bit strange. I don't. I thought I added this to my TBR because of a recommendation from Books and Lala, but I'm not sure I did that because she 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 doesn't have it on her list. So I don't know. Maybe it was just uh, me getting recommended it from somewhere else. I'm not sure. I really can't remember. But I'm glad it's really really short. It's super weird, but I am liking it and I'm intrigued, but I'm not, I'm pretty sure right now it's not going to be a five stars, but I don't know what it's going to be exactly. I, as I said, I went to the doctor's office today and I had in fact, synosis, <coughs> it's not, I hate uh, medical terms because we don't call it the same thing in Danish. In Danish it's called bihulebetendelse, so just saying it's not easy just a sinusitis sinusitis it says on the uh, dictionary I've got pencil and cure now hopefully it will f work fast I am just going to go and use my nose spray so I can go to sleep in like five to ten minutes last night I woke up at 4 a.m. Fully clogged nose and couldn't sleep anymore. I can't sleep when my nose is blocked. It just, it just, I, I can't sleep with my mouth open. <laughs> it's just not, it is not comfortable. <laughs> I'm honestly just hoping that it, everything will work this night and my the the penicillin will take start like doing its thing. Uh, now I'm going to do my night routine brush my teeth and stuff uh, before I go to bed for reals see ya hello friends uh, it's now Thursday I wanted to check in with an update I finished uh, I almost yesterday finished Hadriana and all my dreams uh, but I did it this morning before I went to work um, it's such a strange book it's a it's a zombie story, lots of folklore, but it's not a zombie story like you think, like, you think it is. Um, but it, I'm, I'm, I, I think it's very, very strange. I like the writing, and I'm not sure exactly what, how... It follows this woman, a girl, teenager, who's on her wedding day. She's the most beautiful woman ever. And on her wedding day, 
just as she, she said yes to marry her husband, she dies and then they have a sort of carnival thing, celebrations happening to sort of um, celebrate her life or whatever, um, because that was have been something she would have wanted. And then she is buried, but after her burial, like under 24 hours later, she's removed from her graveyard and m mummified. At least that's what the story says. And then there are stories about her showing up places. So, yeah. But I'm I liked it a lot. Uh, the writing was good. I don't think I understood the whole erotic descriptions that were in this one. It was very weird. Um, some something with butterflies and stuff. Um, but I. I gave it three stars because I was I read the whole thing. I didn't dislike it, but I also wasn't completely in love with it. So yeah, um, and then I, today I started on the graveyard apartment, and I've read 35 pages. So it's difficult to say for me what it's about exactly, except that it's set on a we are following a family that's just moved into an apartment that is just a next to uh what it was it a buddhist graveyard i think uh, in japan um very far quite a ways away from other city life um and strange things have already sort of happened without it being super weird um but I'm interested in continuing, but I'm not going to read any more of it now because I want to go to sleep and I don't think horror is what you're supposed to read before you go to sleep, at least not for my case. In terms of my sickness, it's been, I've been on penicillin now for three days and I've had it, I felt bad Tuesday, I felt bad Wednesday and today, but right now it seems like I'm getting better. I'm gonna go and sort of spray my nose now, so I can go to bed. Um, but hopefully I will feel better tomorrow, because tomorrow I'm going to work, obviously, and I have to sort of hand over some assignments to a colleague. Um, we are gonna sit together for a bit tomorrow. And then um, I also have to... Um, Tomorrow evening we are going to a sort of Christmas dinner party. A little early, but it is with the girls from my office, like the the, the department I'm in. Um, there are several departments, but the two main departments are like location specific, and it's the location department thing. And all the women who has been been working there now. And also previously, I invited, so we're going to be 11 girls tomorrow at the party. Majority of us are already working there, but there are, I think, four. There are four of the um, girls that are previous, work, previously someone who's been work, working at the firm. I think it's a nice way of sort of keeping in touch with your older colleagues if you haven't seen them. Because, like... Um, people I work with at my old jobs, I don't see them ever. So in a way, it's nice to be able to sort of keep tabs on everyone um, when they can sort of participate. It's not always a given that everyone can participate, obviously. Um, I think we are 25 girls or something in the group. I'm not sure. Um, so there's also always a lot who can't make it and that's fine. Um, <coughs> but I think it's fun and so we are meeting up at my colleague's place tomorrow for dinner and um, so I wanted to feel as good tomorrow so I after we had this sort of personal meeting for, that took the entire pre-noon 
Um, so four hours in the from eight to twelve were just meeting stuff, <laughs> which was um, like pulling teeth out. It was um, a little rough getting through that. Um, and then and on afterwards, I felt I've been feeling bad today, and I went home and then I slept for three hours on my couch. I did the same thing on Tuesday, like. Uh, getting those long naps in has been wonderful uh, and I think they are going to help me getting better. I don't usually sleep so much during the day so be when I've yeah had a nap like that I think it was because it was necessary for my body to sort of try and get rid of this sickness. Um, yeah but uh, hopefully tomorrow I'll manage to reach a little bit as well before I have to go to the Christmas party but I don't know um, but I'm hoping that I can finish the entirety of the graveyard shift over the weekend or the graveyard apartment sorry not the graveyard shift because then I can focus on the last two books for the next week and then that will take me two weeks to get through the four 88 books and um, I like that they aren't None of them are super long. Um, um, so, and so far, um, I've enjoyed the books that I've been reading. Um, this one definitely doesn't read as fast as the other one. The Hadrian in my dreams, in all my dreams, that were read like super fast. I think I read it like 60 pages an hour. And I usually am around 45 to 50 pages an hour with my speed. So... But the chapters were super short, so there were some pages that didn't have a lot of text on them. And some of them had sort of poetry stuff. And um, I think that also was one of the reasons. And then there was a lot of sections that were like, it was divided into parts as well. I think those things made it a super fast read. So if you're looking for a book to read for a sort of readathon where I want to get through a lot of books then this would be a good one to pick up because I think you could finish it out in a couple of hours easily so yeah but this was my update for now I will check in again once I have more to say <laughs> anyway see ya bye hello friends it is now Friday afternoon and I wanted to check in because I had a package Delivered, no, not delivered, but I picked up a package from the post office. Um, so I wanted to unbox it because there are books in here, but there's also something else in here. extra box and inside my box. Let's take the book out first. I bought the first two books plus a novella from the Stormlight Archive series uh, because they are the next ones in the series. I remember when these two were split in two but this edition isn't. I don't know if I want to put take them out but I should do that I should do that. oops so I have the way of kings the first one how long is it the first one is 1100 pages And the second one, Words of Radiance, how long is this one? The same length. A little later, maybe 100 pages more, but what's 100 pages when you're over a thousand anyway? So, these two hunkers of books. And then <clears throat> the novella Edge Dancer was in this companion as well. But I actually already think I 
it's part of the Arcanium Unbounded. So I don't need, need I didn't need this, but now I have it as a novella. This one is, however, only 265 pages. Um, <clears throat> but it's apparently part one of the Storm Art Archives. And my reason for getting them is because I want to read um, his um, Cosmere books in publication order from now on. And <clears throat> hold on. I thought about getting, reading other Lynn Cosmere, but this is yeah so many. I'm going to focus on the Cosmere books first. And I read the first, I read Elantris. I read the first three Miss Bond books. And I read uh, Warbreaker. And I read The Alloy of Law. And I don't know if Hope of Elantris is in Arcanum Unbounded, because that's a novella too. I know I could just find it, but then I have to get up. So I'm just gonna check what Goodreads says. Hope of Elantris. Yeah, so Hope of Elantris, I actually have to read that. Maybe I should read them, read that first, and then read The Way of Kings. I started actually, uh, I got the ebook out from the library. I don't know how far I got. I think I read the first part actually. Hold on. I think it's divided into parts. Book one. Yeah. So I think maybe. Yeah, I think I finished part one. So I was about to get to chapter 177. But I I'm, I think I need to start over. Because I I'm not, not a lot of it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I read this much of the book before from the ebook in January. It suddenly came in January and I just didn't get any further and I wasn't really in the mood to read fantasy so I think that's also one of the reasons but I am in the mood to read fantasy now so. Um, but then I have to read The Way of Kings. This is the next one um, in the full length novels. Then The Alloy of Law which I have read and then The Eleventh Metal which is in I think the Icanum Unbounded as well. And then Emperor So, which is also a novella, I think is... Uh, so I do have <laughs> a lot to go for now before I have to get the next one, because then after, and Words of Radiance, Shadows of Self, I have that book as well. So I, I'm covered until Shadows of Self with all of the Cosmere stuff. But I'm covered for a while and I it will be a while before I get caught up <clears throat> in general because these are honkers. But I do enjoy Brenda Sanderson's. I haven't haven't not liked any of the Sanderson things that I've picked up from the Cosmere universe. So I want to read all of his books in the Cosmere and I just needed to get the physical copies, so maybe I need to annotate these in order for me to get figure things out. Um, and I think that's easier to do that when you have a physical copy and you, the library copy doesn't run out before you're finished because I only have them for 21 days and I, I just couldn't start when I just it was just delivered. So I had 14 days to read it, and then I wasn't in a mood. But I read 177 pages, so it's not like I didn't read anything. Anyway, long story short, I got these three books. I got myself a sprocket printer in pink. Um, I've looked at these so many times and I've seen so many people use them for journaling. Um, they're pretty, apparently pretty re easy to use. Uh, they print out photos instantly. Ah. ah, cute. Photo sheets. And the charger. And then I got um, 
and I will figure out how to use it. There's um, that was, it was a box set where I got that and some extra photo sheets uh, and a cover. I'm looking forward to seeing how it all works out when I, but it will probably not be until the weekend. And last and finally, I just got some extra ballpoint pens, pencils or pens. Um, I think they are just zebra pens with a gel ink. Mm. I always like to get extra pens and so this cost me next to nothing. Uh, and these are colors I use quite often. <clears throat> yeah. This is zebra. Um, but I got five pens. Black, purple, blue, pink and green. So I have a little extra pens for journaling. Which is always nice to have. So this is my sort of small unboxing haul. But this time around I'll chain it again later when I have more to say about books. Hello friends. It is now 1.30 almost on Sunday. I haven't read a whole lot of um, the graveyard apartment. I've only read the 75 pages of it. I had hoped that I would be much further so I could finish it this weekend, but that is not gonna happen. I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would, uh, and I don't know why. It is definitely unsettling in places. Um, I think I'm gonna try and see if I can read. I I have to leave now for my sisters, but when I get home this evening, maybe I can clock in an hour, maybe an hour and a half, and see will I continue want to continue it or not. Um, I think I'll have to wait and see. Otherwise, I'll stop it and DNF it for now, and I'll go read uh, on with my books because I don't want to get into a slump and I want to see if I can finish as many books this last part of this year uh, because I am behind on my Goodreads goal of reading 100 books for a year, over a year. Um, I still have 26 books, 25 books. Uh, when it started November I had 25 books to read before I had that number reached um, that. So it means that I have to read uh, 12 books both months and so far I've read four books this month so I definitely need to up my speed a little bit also because usually in December I don't get a whole lot of red so cross his fingers I will get to a, a lot of books this month but yeah this is my update for now I will get back to you later now I'm gonna leave and visit my sisters my <clears throat> my dad was just admitted to the hospital today because he had got a fever he has sort of an open admittance thing uh, because of his cancer uh, he has very low um, immunity so whenever he has a fever that's higher than 38.5 celsius i don't know what that is in fahrenheit uh, he has to go in uh, so he just texted and let us know that he was being picked up by some doctor kind of thing i don't know if it's an probably not an ambulance but a but a but a medical personnel will pick him up and so he could get to the hospital and my mom has to work a couple of hours but then she's coming by my sisters to eat before she leaves and goes to the hospital um for the evening to see my dad um so that's a little bit sad uh but my sis my my nephew has been a little bit sick with a sort of a stomach throwing up thing he did that yesterday and did this morning but we don't know if he's super ill or if it's just we don't really know but um yeah i'm leaving to help my sister out because she's on her own with three kids so i don't want to let her to deal with that too much um 
anyway, this was everything. My update for now, a little bit chaotic. Hopefully things will turn out better soon. I just finished filming two videos for my YouTube video for the next coming week. So hopefully that will be good enough for you. Anyway, see ya. Bye. Hello friends. It is Thursday evening. I haven't checked in in what feels like a week. I put down the graveyard book. Not because it was a bad book, but I wasn't in the mood to read it while I was reading it. So I changed books in... Hold on, I need to sh close my... like, shut off my TV. Let's try again. On Monday I decided to change my uh, reading to another book. Because I wasn't feeling the horror. Um, so I... Hold on. I'm really in a weird mood. So on Monday morning, while I, I was meeting in a little bit later, I started on The Last Honest Woman oh, by Nora Roberts. And I am very much enjoying it. I don't have very much left. So I have read up to page 264. And it's following this woman who is widowed. Um, she married a race driver. I don't know what type of racing. I think it might be IndyCar, some American thing. I don't think it's Formula One because it's around the US. So I figure it's probably one of those IndyCar or what's the other one called? I feel like there's one or other I can't remember right now. Anyway, she is very, very young when she get married to him and she is pregnant and sort of stays home and but then some sometime um um when she gets pregnant she starts starts to stay home um to so she can sort of follow him along around the US following his races and stuff and um yeah um so she he passed away by with an after a crash um so he dies in a car crash uh on the circuit um and obviously she's the mother of two and now she's there's this man who's writing uh biographies um trying to t tell the story of her hus her late husband or whatever the truth about him or whatever uh, the both the good and the bad um, and um, she lets him into his house and sort of their romance I am enjoying it quite a lot actually I think that the romantic elements ha I, I like the romantic relationship I mean no Roberts writes romances in a way that I really really enjoy more often than not um, I enjoy the her dynamics with the kids I I like getting to know the background, what happened to her uh, when in her previous marriage and stuff, and yeah, it's just enjoyable. Um, you, it reads really fast because like it's a large print. Look at this. This is my kind of book. <laughs> I love it when books have this large text. <coughs> You really feel like you get somewhere, right? It's like when you read a middle grade book and you're like, read 60 pages an hour and of 70, sometimes 100 pages, depending on the size, of, depending on the book. Um, that's definitely gets you somewhere, right? So yeah. Anyway, I'm enjoying this one quite a lot. And um, don't know what my rating, I don't know what my rating will be, but I like it better than any of the previous things I've read. So, in that way, successful. Um, I have less than 100 pages left, so I should finish it tomorrow. I will let you know when I do. And then I hope that I can pick up Christopher Chant, the Christopher Chant book, over the weekend finish that and maybe we'll see how far I can get into the horror book by the end. Um, actually, there's something I wanted to say. We had snow. We've had the first snow here now. Uh, it's weird because like the last weeks it's been like 
um, 12 to 15 degrees. There's no sign that it was going to be snowy soon. Um, and then yesterday, no, last weekend on Friday, the temperature dropped like to around three to five degrees and then it's just been chillier and chillier chiller ch chiller and chiller over the days and on I think it was Tuesday I saw the first frost no Monday was the first frost frosty morning and then Tuesday I had to sort of scrape my car that was that was the first time I had to do that. And then on Wednesday, there was a little bit of snow when I had to go. But today, there was like a couple centimeters and it was still snowing. And it was a bit of a challenge getting to work. It's not like I, I already had window tires. I got them fixed a couple of weeks ago. I had it at the garage. So everything good in that area. <laughs> um, but you know, it's just... It's never pleasant driving in the snow, you know. Um, this is the uncertainty. You have to go a lot slower. You don't really... I, there were a lot of cars. I mean, a lot of cars. I got ro ro drove past a couple of cars that definitely had ended up in the ditch on the other side of the road. So it was slippery in places. and But it was worse when I went had to go home again. Because alongside all of the snow, snowy, frosty roads, there was also mist and I couldn't see very much, very far ahead. So that was even worse, on top of it being really slippery. So, yeah, but I, I made it home safe and sound, and I, yeah, uh, I'm careful when it's like that. But I love the aesthetics of snow. I enjoy walking in the snow. I, I enjoy looking at it. It's fun to play in the snow sometimes, but I dislike driving in the snow. Uh, yeah, it's just chaotic and I'm very anxious and stuff, so yeah. Anyway, this is my update for now. Talk to you later. Hello friends, it is um, Saturday. I wanted to check in because I, yesterday morning I finished, not morning, yesterday I, <laughs> I finished the last Honest Woman by Nora Roberts, and I really, really enjoyed it. I still haven't decided on my rating for of it. I will let you know whenever. Um, but I definitely enjoyed it, and it was obviously one of her temptation, no, silhouette romances. So it's one of the Harlequin or category romances that she wrote in the beginning of her career, and it was a lot of fun reading them. It's different than her her newer stuff stuff obviously but I always enjoy her way of writing romances so yeah I've also started on the lives of Christopher Chant I am on page 44 45 about to start chapter 4 and I will bring this book with me to my parents right now because I'm leaving and I will be reading from it today I hope that by this evening, I will be somewhere around 100 to 150 pages in, and then maybe, possibly, I will spend a lot of time reading tomorrow. Um, I'm a little bit tired today, so I hope that I'll be in a better mood to sit down to read. I also had, had a couple of things that I did. I've been cleaning this morning, I've been to out doing some. Er Errands. I got. I bought some Christmas lights, the last uh, sort of present for my brother, for his um, advent calendar thing. So tomorrow I might be doing sort of Christmas lights outside, um, laundry and reading. So hopefully I will finish this book and then call this vlog a thing. <laughs> hopefully that's my aim. I want to finish this vlog tomorrow. So. Crosses fingers. See ya. Hello friends. It is now Sunday. I wanted to check in with a reading update because I managed yesterday to get a, f a bit into it. Into uh, the lives of Christopher Chant. I'm on page 137. About to start chapter 10. And I am going to be trying to finish this one today. Um, 
it does read rather quickly when I read it, so um, I think there might be a good chance that I could finish it today. I don't have a lot of th things on my plate, but uh, my niece uh, is currently, she was picked up by an ambulance, ambulance this morning, which is a little bit scary. Uh, she, I don't know, uh, got sick, so I threw up. And they, after that, they, she sort of, I don't know if she fainted, but they couldn't really get in contact with her for like 10 minutes. So they called an ambulance. They were really, really worried. And now she's just uh, getting a lot of checkups. I don't know how, how much, like, I, I don't know what's going to happen with that. Uh, hopefully things will turn out fine and they'll find out why that happened. Um, so definitely worried about her, um, but hopefully I will be able to still read this. It seems weird to be focusing on this, but I can't do anything anyway. But I don't know if I have to help out with something. So far I'm not, but in case that happens, obviously I will drop everything. So. Yeah, um, right now I just put on some laundry and I have some time to read. I'll be reading for a bit and then I need to go grocery shopping at some point. I want to do make sure that I have the Christmas lights up. Um, so those are things that I have to do today. But right now it's really rainy so I'm hoping there'll be sort of a short break that I can go out and put out on the Christmas lights. I'm not sure. If it just keeps being like this, I might postpone putting up the Christmas lights until later. Um, we'll see. But, yeah. Anyway, this is my update. See ya. Hello friends, it is now uh, later, I'm doing cooking dinner, it's about 6.30pm, my food will be done in 5 minutes-ish, it's in the oven. I thought I wanted to share with you how much I've been reading because I do have, ma have made quite a big, a lot of progress. I have about 60 pages left, um, so I think I need just one more reading stretch and I'll finish this off. Um, I never talked about what it was about when I checked in earlier, um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about it now. In this one, we are following Eric, uh, Christopher Chant, who is an enchanter, and en an enchanter is he, and he is able. He has nine lives, just like Eric did in the previous book that I read. Um, so he doesn't know this in the beginning what is going on, but he's able to. In his dreams, he's able to travel into other worlds. It is sort of talked about as uh, this world has multiple dimensions so there are according to beliefs 12 worlds that I've discovered they don't know if there's more some believe that 12 worlds is what it is but there are some that believe that it might be others but we just haven't discovered it yet and so we're following him he's able to travel into these worlds and he can pick he can pick things take things with him back which is something that other people definitely can't 
and he doesn't know why. And um, as things progresses, he ends up at Crestomancy Castle because he is to train with the Crestomancy at this point. Um, so that he can um, dig out things and um, yeah, he's not really happy with that solution uh, because he wants to sort of keep traveling into the world and he wants to play cricket, that, those are the things that he's into but he's not able, he's not allowed to so I am enjoying it a lot, quite a lot actually I think I like this one a lot more than the first one so it might end up being a 5 star for me we'll have to end up see what I feel like by the end but I'm definitely enjoying myself when I'm reading it and it reads super fast just like other Diana Wynne Jones books does um, so it's very very nice to have had two of the first books on my CBR this month but usually I wouldn't do that but it, 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 it was uh, because I needed to read this and I had to sort of um, get it in. So yeah, wanted to say that this one definitely has been a success so far but I will check in again once I've, I'm done and let you know a final update of this whole vlog and let you know uh, what happened with that. Uh, I still haven't given you a rating of the Nora Roberts book either but um, I will let you know that about that once I'm done. So this was just a short update to let you know about that and then I'm going to go eat dinner and then I'll read the remainder and um, that's about it. So yeah, see ya. Hello friends, it is now hold on, um, 8 30 p.m. and I finished this nine li the lives of Christopher Chant uh, and um, I really liked it. Um, I've really been thinking about things and I don't know if I've been too harsh with my ratings over the past year but I don't give out very many five star books, five star ratings any longer which I used to do a little more, I at least used to have like 20 to 25 to five star books over a year and I think over the past year I mean, I've given out five stars for the in-depth books, but other than that, I have only very, very few that I've given five stars, and not because I'm because I'm not enjoying them. So I don't know why that is. It's been a really, really difficult time in terms of that. Um, but when I think about both of these books, they've both been really, really good. And I've enjoyed myself and I have been able, I haven't, I've wanted to keep on picking them up. And that is definitely a good thing. Um, I think I want to give this one four and a half stars because I really enjoyed it. But there were a couple of things that I would have liked it to have done better. But I'm very happy I read it and I'm looking forward to reading on with this specific series of hers in the future. So definitely a solid read. And this one, I think it was a lot better than the first one. It, ca it created more depth to the world. It answered more questions that I had. And... I really enjoyed my time with the characters, all of them, um, the sort of main cast of characters here were very interesting. So I think I might end up giving this 5 stars, um, I really enjoyed it, so so yeah, but this was my end to this vlog, I'm happy I read the books that I did and I hope that you enjoyed following along with this. So 88 was definitely a fine year, uh, but in terms of and I'm happy to say that now I've found a five-star read for that year. And next up will be 1992. I don't know when I will do that. If I do that in December, uh, that's probably a little bit too early to do it in December. But um, I haven't really decided yet. I'll have to mull that over. But otherwise, I think I might do it in the beginning of next year. So we'll see. Anyway, this is my update for now. Bye.